welcome to my channel guys my name is liz we're going to make this beautiful wrap top if you're not subscribed kindly do and enjoy i'm using this beautiful shade of green a three millimeter hook a pair of scissors a dani needle and of course a measuring tape you're going to need your bust measurements and the full length of the top and then we'll begin with the waist going up We're going to work the back panel first start with a slip knot and then work a chain that is is long enough to fit half of your bust in my case i'm doing a bust of 34 and i found that 60 chains work for me and this will represent the back panel of my top After you get your chain, you're going to measure it to make sure that you have your half of the bust. And you're going to measure this while stretched a little bit. And when I do that, I'm going up to 17 inches, which is what I want. Then we begin working the first row, all the 60th chain, and chain two more. Then go into the chain three more, then go back into the 60th chain with a double crochet. And now you have two double crochets onto, onto your chain. And every chain on this foundation chain is going to get a double crochet. So a double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, pull a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the remaining two, yarn over again, go into the next chain, pull a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the remaining two. And you're going to keep going until you have a double crochet onto each of the chains to the end. I'm at the end of row one and ready to begin row two. So for row two, we're going to chain three. And the chain three acts as a first double crochet and so we're not going to go back into that first stitch but then we'll yarn over and work a double crochet into the next stitch and a double crochet in every stitch to the end at this point i have 61 stitches and i'm going to be working the 61 stitches for a total of 19 rows each row will start like row two you're going to chain one at the begin, uh, chain three at the beginning. Turn your work, work a double crochet into the next stitch and a double crochet into every other stitch till you get to the end. The last stitch goes on top of the chain three stitch that we made at the beginning. So onto the that chain. Put the last double crochet so always make sure that you do not forget that stitch then chain three and turn your work and now we are working a repeat of row two and you're going to work until you get to your armpit the measurement from your waist to the armpit you're just going to be making one double crochet into every stitch I've done a total of 19 rows and it, this is getting me to 8 inches. When you're measuring the height of anything, do not stretch it out. So I have my 8 inches, which is okay with me. And so I'm going to go and start creating the armhole of the top. So get the hook and put it back into this loop. I'm going to chain 1 and turn. And then I'm going to work 5 slip stitches beginning with the first stitch go into the first stitch and make a slip stitch go into the second another two three four and five so i'm eliminating five stitches on this side and five stitches on the other side 
so i'm going to slip stitch one more to get to six and then at that sixth stitch i'm going to chain three and then i'll work one double crochet until i have five stitches remaining on the other side I have the five stitches remaining on the other end so i'm done with row 20 at this point therefore we're going to chain three turn the work at this point i have 51 stitches and i'm going to be working with 15 51 stitches until i get to the shoulders of the top or until you get the full length of your top I've done 14 rows for the armhole and I'm going to measure it to see how many inches I have. Up to that point, it's around 6. Uh, 6.5, then there's this bit around here which is around 1 inch. So I have like 7.5. Uh, an adult armhole should be between 7 to 9 inches. So depending on your armhole, you can create it between 7 to nine inches i'm okay with the 7.5 and so that's what i'm going to work with and my back panel is ready so we can go straight to the front panel the length at my shoulders is around 13 inches and i want to leave a neckline of six inches and therefore i'll take 13 minus six and that will give me seven seven divided by two will be 3.5 and therefore one front panel will be 3.5 on one side and then 3.5 inches on the other side so for my 3.5 i'll need to work like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen i'll work 14 stitches on this side for one side of the front panel and 14 stitches on the other side for the other side of the front panel because we're working two separate front panels so begin with chain one chain three and turn and then that is our first double crochet so we're going to work 13 more double crochets for a total of 14 So I have my 14 stitches and that makes the first row of the front panel. Then we're going to chain three and turn to begin row two. Row two is going to be an increase row. And therefore we'll go back into this first stitch with another double crochet such that we have two double crochets into that first stitch. And then all the other stitches are going to get each one double crochet. At the beginning of row three we've chained three and this that is our first double crochet then go to the next stitch with another double crochet until you get to the stitch at the middle not exactly at the middle but inside right here and at the end we're going to increase at the end of row two we'll work an increase so remember the stitches on the edge of the top are not increased we are only increasing inside here
I'm on the chain three stitch at the end of our, uh, at the beginning of our two. So into this chain three, we're going to put two double crochets for an increase. And then we're going to chain three, turn to begin row four. Because row four is beginning on this side, we're going to increase at the beginning. So another double crochet into that stitch that has the chain three, then one double crochet up to the end of the four. And we're going to increase like this, or I'm going to increase like this till I have 14 rows. And then when I get to the 14 rows, I'm going to create the armhole and then continue working all the way down to the end of the top. So keep going until you have the number of rows that you had from the armhole up to the top of your shoulder. So if you had 15, you're going to work 15 rows. If you had 14 like me, you'll work 14. If you had uh, 20, you will work 20. So make sure the rows are equal, both for the front and the back panel. And remember, you're only increasing on this side. On the edge, there's no increase or increase at all. I've done the 14 rows and I'm at this point and I need to create something like this that is on the back panel and to do that I'm going to chain 5 at the end of row 14 so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 then I'm going to chain 2 more So that is seven then i'll go back to the third chain from the hook with a double crochet so i have two three four and five stitches then continue onto the other stitches until you get to the this point we'll continue increasing and we'll continue increasing all the way down make sure that you should make sure that the number of stitches that you have are uh, the number of rows that you have for the back panel are the same number of rows that you're going to have for the front and in row 15 of the front panel I'd worked 19 plus the top 14 that was 33 and therefore I should be able to work 33 stitches all the way to the bottom right now I'm in the 15 so I'll work um, 18 more rows and I'll be done with this side of the front panel then I'll attach the yarn on the other side and work something completely identical to what I have on this side. So continue going down. Make sure that you're increasing at this end only. And therefore your top should go all the way to this end. That one side. Then the other side will come all the way to the other side. Once I'm done with this first panel of the front part, I'll come back and show you how to work the second panel. So see you then. I'm done with this one front panel and it's come up to this point. So right here, I'm going to attach the strap that's going to tie at the back of the top. And to do that, I'm going to get the loop and then chain three. Then into the double crochet row. So we are turning to this side, this, to the slant side. So into the double crochet row, put two double crochets in that first row then into the second row put two more double crochets and those are the number of stitches that we're going to have for the strap i'm going to be working with five double crochets then we're going to chain three to begin row two of the strap turn the work then skip the first stitch go into the next stitch with a double crochet a double crochet into the next stitch a double crochet into the next and a double crochet on top of the first chain three stitch and there you have your five double crochets then chain three again and turn into the second stitch put a double crochet 
a double crochet into the next into the next and on top of the chain three stitch and this is basically what we're going to do with the strap i'll be working five double crochets for each row and i'm going to work a total of 50 rows with the double crochet stitches you can do as many rows as possible depending on the length of the strap that you want so i'm working with uh, I know I do not want a very long strap and so I'll do the 50 rows then once I'm done with the 50 rows I'll be done with the one front panel I'll cut off the yarn and start working the other panel for the front part so keep going till you have your desired length of the strap Now, when you're working your strap, this is what you should make sure you're doing. Make sure the strap is on this land side and not on the edge. So if you finish your rows at the edge, you might need to cut off the yarn and then attach it to this point so that you can have the strap on this side of this land side of the top. I'm done doing the strap and I've gone ahead to make 60 rows instead of 50 because I wanted it a bit longer. And I've also joined the top of this part i'm going to show you how to join using the next panel that you're going to be making so we are done with that panel and then we begin the next panel to do the next panel you get your yarn make a slip knot and then we are attaching from this point right here and we're going to count 14 stitches just like we did on the other side And so insert the hook into the 14th stitch and then make a slip stitch into that stitch then you're going to chain three the chain three acts as our first double crochet and so we will not make another double crochet into that stitch we'll go next to the next stitch and put a double crochet and then have a double crochet to the end of row one of the second panel of the front part of the top so work your 14 rows or whatever number of rows are uh, not rows but stitches if you had worked 10 on this side you should work 10 on this other side in my case i've done 14 and that's why i'm doing 14 on the other side I have my 14 stitches so to begin row two chain three and turn your work go into the next stitch with a double crochet and a stitch to the end and at the end of row two we're going to start increasing remember the increases are on this inner part of the top and not on the edge we're going to be working increases at the end and at the beginning of the next row but remember, do not work increases on the edge. My last stitch is in the third chain of the first stitch. Chain one stitch and then the next stitch. And there we've increased at the end of row two to begin row three chain three and turn again we're going to increase at the beginning of row three so we'll, we'll be increasing at the end of the even rows and at the beginning of the odd rows in this panel and i'll work the 14 rows of increase and when i'm done with the 14 rows i'll come back and show you how to do the 15th row of this panel and then you'll be ready to work to the end of this project so keep going till you have your 14 rows or whatever number of rows you add in the back panel i'm doing 14 because i had 14 here and i need 14 at the front if maybe you had more than 14 rows you'll have to work 
that particular number. I'm done with the 14 rows and uh, at the end of the 14 rows on the other side the 14th row was ending on the edge and that's why we added five stitches on this side but now because the 14th row is ending at the slant part right here we cannot we cannot ha we cannot add the five stitches right here so I'm going to get a small piece of yarn and I'm going to add my five chains on this onto this side so I'll make a slip knot and then I'll go to the chain 3 stitch right here and slip stitch there slip stitch like that and then chain 5 then cut off the yarn then fasten now as you can see we have our five stitches on this side of the 14th row so we begin 15th row and we begin by chaining three and turning again we are in the inside part where we're increasing then into the next stitch continue working the double crochet stitches one into every stitch And then when we get to the chain five stitch, we're going to work a stitch into every of the chains. I'm at the chain stitches and now we place one double crochet into each of the chains so that we add our five stitches at that edge. there then row 16 chain 3 and turn do not work as st another stitch into the first stitch so go into the second stitch and put a double crochet a double crochet into each of the other stitches when you get to the middle make an increase by working two double crochets into the last stitch and then we're going to continue the pattern the same exact thing we did on the other side until we have 33 rows or whatever number of rows you've been working with i'll meet you at the end of the 33 rows well after you're done with the 33 rows let me show you so this is going to come all the way down to this point your that my 33rd stitch will be a uh, row will end on this side so i'll cut off the yarn and i'll attach it to this end that will be right here and then work another strap like this one so the straps are on this land part so make sure that you do not attach the strap on the edge i'll meet you once i'm done so that i can show you how to connect the two panels just like i've connected on this side so keep going and let's meet at that end i'm done with the other side of the front panel uh, that is i'm done with the other panel and this is how it's looking like i've also gone ahead to attach the strap and the top is basically done what's remaining is to join these ends and i'm going to turn the top to the wrong side and then i'll join at these ends just like i joined on the other side we're going to join right here so get your yarn and the hook and start with the slip knot then we're going to attach the yarn at the beginning right here with a slip stitch onto this stitch and onto the stitch on the other side we want to join them together so and i'm going to be joining using single crochets if you don't like joining with the single crochets you can do this using the yarn needle i prefer joining with single crochets but when you're joining with single crochets ensure that the stitches are not too tight so go into those first two rows and insert two, two single crochets into the double crochet rows. The next corresponding double crochet rows will get two single crochets. 
do not make your stitches too tight then the next corresponding will get each two we are joining together so you want to make sure that your work is well aligned so that if you're joining row one you're joining row one on this side and row one on the other side then i mean row four so row four of this side and row four of the other side put two single crochets into that row then we join the row fives with two single crochets then the next rows and this is what you're going to repeat until you get to the top right here and at that point you'll be done joining the two ends do not forget the single crochet stitches should not be too tight because if they are too tight then that hem may look a bit shapeless so make sure that the stitches are a bit loose but also not too loose and join the corresponding double crochet rows so make sure that your work is well aligned I'm in the last rows and I'm just joining the two then into the last stitch this one right here we put the last single crochet and uh, onto the other side then chain one and cut off the yarn and at this point you are done with the top everything is done except the weaving in of the ends so you're going to weave in all your ends using the darning needle and after you're done weaving weaving the ends your top will will be ready to be worn so this is what we have after joining the two ends together so thank you for joining me in this tutorial if you've liked the video you know what to do leave a like leave a comment share and when you get to recreate this top kindly tag me to your social media pages I've, I've left the links to my pages in the description box so be sure to check them out and yeah follow me if you ain't following and subscribe too do not forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet bye